hello guys and welcome back to the channel so now guys we are now starting to get the details of what went down in uh 2015 that has now led us to this port this point of no return of the malam buhari experience as guys i bring you this tinubu transformed buhari's image funded his 2015 election a headline attributed to babache Lawal. So Babache Lawal, of course, somebody that straddles the two divides of the Tinubuist and the Buhariist, so the north and the south, so he's well poised now and he was one of the key architects of the whole Buhari campaign, the whole uh, Buhari project in 2015. So he's at the front seat of the whole uh, a drive through that brought this guy in so he's best positioned now to now give us these uh, details of exactly what happened then so again the headline Tinubu transformed Buhari's image funded his 2015 election a headline attributed to Babache Lawal so now let's now see what the grass cutter has to say Babache Lawal has lifted the lead on how Bola Tinubu helped President Mohamed Buhari win the 2015 presidential election. Speaking to a newspaper recently, the former secretary to the government of the federation said Tinubu, a former governor of Lagos State, packaged President Buhari for Nigerians before the 2015 election. Lawal revealed how the APC national leader was the strong force of financial support for Buhari, adding that he, Tinubu, was a colossus of the Southwest politics. According to him, there is no denying that there is a Tinubu factor in the APC. Lawal stressed that prior to the 2015 election, the North was not with Buhari, but it was Tinubu who made the major and Buhari's primary election victory possible. On the financial contribution of the former Lagos State Governor, Lawal said, Everybody knows Buhari had no money and he doesn't play money politics. So he won his presidential primary election without spending money. Also, Buhari East didn't have money. They only had ideas, zeal, and fanaticism. And politics requires money. The former SGF said Ahmed Tinubu played a key role in selling Buhari agenda for Nigerians. At the time, Nigerians saw Buhari as just a wood. He had no emotions. People were not seeing him as a loving husband and father and doubted if he could be humane. It was Tinubu who brought in consultants from the United States, the firm behind the successful execution of President Barack Obama's campaign. It helped to repackage Buhari to Nigerians. That was when you started seeing Buhari wearing a suit and in Igbo, Yoruba, and Kanuri attires. The strategy was to transform his image and show a humane, loving, and trustworthy person. It helped us. It had earlier been reported that Babache had uh, tipped the former Lagos State Governor Bola Tenobu for the 2023 presidency. So that is a different headline and I shall actually add that to this. So I'll just do that story as well. So let me just round this one off. Lawal, who added his voice to the 2023 presidency and the politics of zoning, said the APC national leader must be given a strong backing to succeed President Buhari because he has done a lot for the ruling party. So let's now go to that story where uh, Babache tipped uh, Tinubu for uh, the presidency. 2023 presidency, APC must create room for Tinubu others to contest, a headline attributed to Babache Lawal. So now let's now just go through this uh, fairly quickly. Babache Lawal, a former secretary to the federal government of the federation, has tipped former Lagos State Governor Bola Ahmed Tinubu for the 
presidency in 2023. Lawal, who added his voice to the 2023 presidency and the politics of zoning, said the all-progressive Congress APC national leader must be given a strong backing to succeed President Mohamed Buhari because he has done a lot for the ruling party. The former SGF, who declared himself as a Tenubu man, further stated that he, Tenubu, was the financial powerhouse of the President Buhari campaign in 2015. According to him, the APC national leader was the arrowhead of the democratic revolution that made the defeat of former President Goodluck Jonathan possible. Lawal said the former Lagos state governor lives for politics and he is the force behind President Buhari's victory in 2015. Speaking about the former Lagos governor, Lawal described Tinubu as a man who had his tentacles spread across the corporate world, was the only man who knew where and how to raise the funds needed. Tinubu doesn't like to take credit for what he does. He lives for politics, gets his money from politics, and spends it on politics. He has no other interest except politics. The money that is spent out of his pocket that is unaccounted for outside of the party's campaign finances are quite enormous. I know this because he's my friend and because I am also involved in the Buhari government. Therefore, Except we want to bring the wrath of God on our heads, which we don't want, the party must create an environment that is free and fair for anybody who wants to contest, including Tinobu, to do so. Let us vote for Tinobu, the former SGF said. Meanwhile, as politicians continue to outplay one another ahead of the 2023 general election, a founding member of APC, Boba Galadema, has said the leadership crisis rocking the party is a result of the politics of 2023 presidency. Galadema, who made this known whilst speaking recently, further buttressed that the power play in the ruling party has huge connection with the ambition of some party chieftains who want to succeed President Mohamed Buhari after his tenure. So, of course, we all know the names at play, uh, especially the arrowhead being, uh, what, what's his name, the uh, little guy from Kaduna State, El Rufai, a very lost little uh, mischief maker. But there you have it now, the politics of 20. 23 carries on unabated. Baba Chia Lawal comes out to throw his hat in the ring uh, of the Tenobu camp. A Tenobu man, he calls himself. So uh, those are his words, and you are, uh, can only go by his words. But the subplot and intrigues are coming out now, and we are able to glean then uh, some of what happened in uh, 2015. So apparently, they went to bring in all these uh, PR experts from the United States, the people who are apparently acted as consultants for Barack Obama to come and uh, rebrand and reshape uh, Malam Buhari, who everybody thought it was just like a, a homogeneous, uh, androgynous, uh, Fulani guy, uh, to come and put him in the uh, red cap of the Igbos and put him in the uh, Danshiki of the Yorubas to try and give him a national coloration. But then, of course, as soon as Malam Buhari uh, got hold of what he wanted, he reverted uh, back to type. Uh, died in the wool, steeped in the wool, uh, never to change Jamja Weedist, uh, a Fulanist, and a religious bigot. This is what this guy has always been all of his life. And I said this uh, to give myself, just, uh, just to exempt myself from the people that were fooled. I said this all the way through that uh, 2015 election Unfortunately, I had not started this channel then, so uh, I cannot uh, bring you proof of that. But uh, on my Facebook walls and to all my friends, I said, look, this guy is a very lost rich little uh, bigot, uh, a nepotist, a, a Fulani 
uh, supremist. This has uh, always been his instinct all the way through. Uh, and I cannot see now, where at his great age, him now changing his color. He said in an interview in the build-up to 2015, uh, in fairness to him, that he has not really changed that much as a person. But then, of course, they were trying to build him off his uh, reputation of being uh, strict and being uh, fastidious and being straightforward. So that was why he said that. But then, of course, uh, there's truth in what he said then. He has not really changed. Who he is is what we are seeing now. A very lost little uh, Fulani man who has no thoughts outside of Daura. Conversations in the comment section, the plot and the intrigues and the subplot and the maneuverings for 2023 uh, has now reached a uh, full uh, pelt. There's no disguising it anymore. The politics of uh, 2023 has been kicked off and uh, it's in full play now. Come share thoughts. But before you do that, click on the red subscribe button so it turns grey. The bell button notifies you every time I drop a new video. Click on like as well because that helps with the YouTube algorithm. Once you've done the clickings, come join me in the comment section. Then come tell me what you're making of this uh, machinations that is going on within the Nigerian nation. So I'll leave you here. Carry this conversation on with you in the comment section. But here, I say, peace.